Welcome back everybody. So today we are out at my favorite fishing spot. For now, I've been looking at other places. Like literally, I just, last video I went to one and no fishing allowed. All right, well, today we have another saltwater inshore um, mystery tackle box. So this is box 559. Okay, so let's get it open and see if there's anything good in here that we can use out here today. Now, one thing is, is this is not very, usually there's not a lot of things out here besides like, you know, some of the small bait fish, you know, your spot and a couple things like that. All right. So, little book that comes with them all, tells you different kind of tips and tricks, how to work, break down, you know, Texas rig, different types of hooks, drop shot, so different kind of things. Got a new sticker, catch go. All right, so we have a Savage Gear, it's a swim bait, it's a pulse tail pinfish, so decent size. All right, now we have a snook inlet rig, one and a half ounce, ultra sharp. So basically it's kind of like a bottom rig. You got this sinker, you got a hook, you got an eyelet. It's a four out hook, um, 60 pound, you know, line on it. Cool, cool. So we got some hooks. Does it say what size they are? No, but they're decent. All right. And then we have brown lures. Do, 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 do. Don't really say what kind these are. <laughs> it says on here, looks tasty, but not for human consumption. Designed to great, designed to work great with jig heads. I don't have any on me but it's basically like you know a swim bait and then right here we have another kind of swim bait so it's a worm it's a paddle tail worm it's a high floater you know so nothing big nothing fancy <sighs> okay so I like what's everything came in here I do need to get some jig heads that would work really good with this stuff right here. Now, the only thing is, that's kind of big out here. I did bring all my fishing stuff. <clears throat> I've been struggling lately to find worms. Nobody has had any worms lately. So, like the one at Bass Pro Shops, I went there and like, you can go there right now and get worms, but they're a month and a half old and they're not doing really well and they're not getting no new ones in anytime soon my local walmart who usually like always has worms and they're like up to date like they're usually like only like a day or two old every time i go they've been out the last two times i'm gonna try to go around and find me some squid usually you can get a big box of squid you can cut it up have it in It'll work for multiple purposes and I'll be able to have that big box that'll last me through winter. So I guess I need to go find some squid. Now, I wanna fish. There's nothing here that I can fish with today. So let's go ahead, get into my stuff that I have and I'm gonna see what I've got and we're just gonna throw for a little while. Okay, so I put on a swim bait and I, this one, actually has a jig head on it this one came i think wow they want a big fish this one came in the mystery tackle box last one i opened which was whatever 306 307 so this one little but this is a little teeny paddle tail swim bait on a jig head so we're gonna just throw this around now Am I going to catch anything? Who knows? Like I said, 
everything I've caught out here has been on worm so like I said we're just gonna throw we might walk down the side there there's a couple spots that you can cast in oh that thing swims nice it's like I don't know if I'll be able to get that on camera or not turn it down to where but it like just swims so nicely but I mean it is a paddle tail so I mean of course I think actually that would be something I know that this is salt water but like a lot of times people will cross over salt water and freshwater baits the way that thing acts would really probably do good in fresh water. I mean, that thing just like paddles like nice. And it's actually a nice day that it's a nice change that it's a nice day out it's been really cold lately and i mean i know i've talked about in a few of my fishing videos is it's been cold out and i haven't been i mean i know i'm not gonna catch nothing in this one either this is kind of like you know just showing off the new mystery tackle box but it's been super cold lately and it's been hard to catch anything but at the same time I know I've said that it's some of it's just fun getting out I mean like right now it's the middle of the day it's so peaceful and quiet out all I hear is birds and there's nobody here I mean I know this place is a little bit busy on the weekends And the tide is down too right now too in this place. It's down a lot right now. All right, let's walk down a little bit. I know there's a spot down that way. So, we are going to like you know fishing is going to get slow during the winter because it is cold out so there are some other things that I'm going to get on to doing for my outdoor videos we'll be getting into those real soonly there's a couple I might just start video and I do a lot of hikes I go on a lot of hikes and walking and stuff like that so I've got some awesome places that I'm going for my hikes as it's getting cold. So we might, well, I'm not gonna say might, we're probably really gonna start recording in some of those hikes that I do because I go walking at least once a week. almost had it caught threw it all the way over and hit his freaking boat dock thing
I do like that paddle tail. It is nice. Like I said, though, I think it'll be a good, good um, salt water. Or fresh water, I mean. I am salt water right now. <laughs> How did it get twisted? I just love how line gets twisted for no stinking reason. It was doing good there for a while and then all of a sudden twist. I think there's one more spot down here. Like I said, I know we're not gonna catch nothing. We're just having fun. You can tell that's some criminal activity. There's a safe right down there on the ground. Right there. Big black box. That's a safe with a key broke off in it. You can see the key hanging out. Yeah. Somebody bit it. Seriously, I had a bite. Wow, my thing got caught. Ah, not today. Oh yeah. All right, I actually came down to the water. Not that yeah, I was wondering because I this is a real high clam area. There's a lot of clams and stuff like that in there, and it'll line will get caught real easy. So all right, well, I guess we're gonna end this because I know, just out here having fun, away from everything. So, I guess we'll catch you in the next one. I'm gonna try, like I said, I'm gonna try to go get some squid. That'll be some good bait. So, we'll catch you in the next video.